BLPI has categories, types, and other kind of information to split and categorize objects while working. Imagine you could gather different objects into the same groups that they are related to. That's what the plugin called Tags does. Hi, I'm Artur Schiffer and welcome back to the TechLib YouTube channel. The Tags plugin provides an extra ability to group objects in GLPI, be it to improve workflows or find objects that are related. You may install the plugin using the marketplace or downloading it from GitHub. The plugin comes with essential permission settings for profiles, which I recommend you let just GLPI administrators to create tags to avoid clutter, because it's hard to manage tags that the team don't even know that exists and what they are for. You may also want to tag tickets automatically using business rules for tickets. And it doesn't mean you're not using categories anymore, you just have an extra layer of categorization now. It may be used for teams of documentation to find tickets that are useful to be added to the knowledge base, or you may also use tags to relate objects to a project. Imagine you have a project and different objects about this project, like assets, tickets, changes, problems, anything is relatable to this project. Or you may also have a kind of impact analysis of your assets in your organization using the tags. You may tag assets that are critical to your organization. It is important to know that tags may be inserted in almost all kinds of objects in GLPI, from assistant objects to settings and equipment, from suppliers to users. Even entities may receive tags to, for example, categorize them in different levels of subscription. And if you look here into your tickets list, you may find tickets about each of these subscription levels, just adding the column of the plugin tags entity and searching for them on your field. And well, you may also use tags on a creative way. Let's imagine the product team wants to know some positive or negative feedback about the tool. Or even if you have a pipeline of features that would like to have in your tool and you just want to tag them, tag the ticket as a useful insight for a future feature. Or imagine you have some users, a group of users or users that need some extra training on a tool or a workflow or they just asking for some new information about the new tool that they're using. You may tag them as need of training and also the name of the tool if you want to. The tags plugin is an extra layer to categorize your tickets, your assets, your objects in GLPI. So you have different options to filter, to search for things, and also to make sure all of your team may also create actions and tasks or new tickets to work on different areas, not just using categories or extensive reports. What are some other useful options to use the tag management that you use in your company or you are going to test in your company? I had an idea. Why not tagging this video as liked it on the button below? See you around. <music>